So, how do you start a personal brand on Instagram in 2020? Well, this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to be giving you four steps to getting started. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Also, if you're new here to my channel, my name is Thor. I post videos about Instagram. I've been doing Instagram now for about three years um, and uh, yeah, built a full business around it. And if you're interested in learning how I did this, um, I go more into depth, into detail on a free training that's hosted by my partner. You can click it down. It's the link down below in the description. It's about two hours long, going very deep into building a business with Instagram. So if that's of interest, the link is down below and it's free. So without further ado, step number one to building your own a personal brand is to define find your purpose. You see, your personal brand is how people see you, how people judge you, the vibe people get from you talking or walking, how people, yeah, look at you. That's your personal brand. So you want to be very clear on this. You want to be very clear on the way you come off. Um, a lot of people are going to look at me right now talking and they're going to get a certain vibe. They're going to either think that oh, Thor is full of shit or they're going to be like, oh, I trust this guy. This guy seems genuine. And and you want to be clear on this. You want to. And it's not like, OK, then let me see how I can manipulate people to feel like I'm more genuine. It's it's not that that uh, it's <laughs> that's not what it's. Uh, oh, my God. That's not what it's about. Um, it's about you just being your true self. But knowing that. You being your true self, you doing certain things are going to make people feel a certain way. So for example, I might be tempted to pop in a snooze right now. This is like a tobacco thing. Um, it's something you put on your lip. It's very popular in Scandinavia. But I know that maybe if some business people are watching, they th might think that that's unprofessional. And my authentic self would probably really want to do that. Um, and that's the truth. But I'm not going to do it because people might be like, ah, oh, that's kind of weird. Um, I do it sometimes in my videos. But yeah, you guys get the point. That's basically basically how people view you. So you want to be you want to be really clear on your purpose. You want to be really, really clear on on yeah, what you want to do with your brand. So once you know this, we can move on to step number two, which is choose a name. Now this is a cool part um, because personal branding, when it comes to personal branding, you want people to remember you. Well, you want people to know who you are. You want people to be like, oh, you know that guy? Yeah, that guy. And everyone knows his name and everyone is like talking about him and it's very easy to remember. My name is Thor. My personal brand is Thor Arsand, and everyone can say that. Try to say Thor Arsand right now. You did it. Nice. You were able to say Thor Arsand. But what if I told you that Thor Arsand is not my real name, or it's not my birth name, so to call it? Because Thor is, yeah, not my birth name. My birth name is Tore. T O R E. Now. I had that name on my YouTube channel and on my on my socials for like a year. But when I went to meet people, when I went to meet for example Ty Lopez, I also met up with, with Jet Set Fly, especially Jet Set Fly. Like when I first met him two years ago, you can see this picture right here. Um, but and he took a picture of me and, and Leo and he posted it on his story and he misspelled my name. Because when I told him what my name was, I was like, yeah, it's Tore. And he was like, T-O-R-E-Y. And I was like, fuck, that's retarded. I don't want people misspelling my name. And it, it, I just got frustrated. I was like, this is so stupid. What do I do? And then I watched a video about Dan Locke talking about how he changed his name just like other big people do, like Ty Lopez. And so I was like, wow, everyone is just changing their name to, to make it easier and better for their branding so that people can remember their name and actually pronounce their name. And I was like, oh, hmm, let me do the same thing. And I was just like, hmm, Thor. Everyone fucking loves Thor. That's a cool name. It's it's almost the same name as that I the, the one that I have now. It's just a different twist on it. And it's Norwegian. So yeah, let me just change it to Thor. And so I did. And that has helped me a lot with my branding. And a lot of times when I get on call with people, I'm like, they're like, oh man, your fucking name, dude. It's so, so oh, I fucking love your name, man. And Thor like ah oh, such a boss name and and even though people say that I, I like when people say that I'm like yeah cool appreciate it but it's not really I mean I don't really feel feel good when people say it because it's not really my birth name but I know that because of the fact that they said that they remember me and and I've found my place in their subconscious mind because my name is so clean so concise so to the point that people remember me so that goes for you too 
if your name is hard to pronounce, if your name is 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 maybe maybe it's Russian and it's hard for people to pronounce it in America, or maybe it's from from middle uh, Middle Eastern Europe or something like that, and it's kind of like a hard twist on it. Change it. Seriously, do it. Don't be so attached to your name. People are way too attached to things nowadays. Oh, I can't walk to the grocery store in my in my in my pajamas. Yes, you can. Who fuck? Like, who gives a shit? Same thing with your name. Change it on your social media. Like, nobody fucking cares. It's your name. Do whatever you want to do. So, if your name is hard to pronounce, change it. Step number three is define who your brand is for. Now, this is really really important. When you're <coughs> When you're starting a personal brand, you want to know who your target customer is. Like, you're probably you're starting it because you want to make money with it. You're starting your personal brand because eventually you want to sell something. You want to brand yourself as an expert in a field. So be clear on what it is that, as we said in step number one, your purpose is. But be clear about who your brand is for. Who is your target customer? What does that person look like? Is it an 18-year-old that struggled with acne? Well, good. Then then you have your answer. Or is it a 45 year old that just got out of a divorce and he needs help coping with his emotional instability? That's what you gotta figure out. You gotta figure out who the type of person you wanna help is. Age, gender, sex, that's the same as gender, yeah. Uh, um, the clothing, income, all of these things you need to know in order to know how to sell and what to sell to this person. Now, when branding yourself, it's like creating the ideal version of yourself. It's like creating the, the perfect version of, of you, the, the person you would want to be, the person you wish that people saw you as. So knowing this, be clear on your story because you want to be shaping your story, your brand story. This is something you want to create and shape out of the truth, like how you came to this point where you are now, how you came through the obstacles, how you came through the struggles that you went through to get a clean face because you had acne before, now you don't. You've got a sexy looking skin, just like me. Just look at this, pretty good. And so now you want to help people get through the same problem that you faced. That's your brand story. Then you want to add that, um, I've got my notes here, so give me one second to read it. What does your brand stand for? Yeah, so what does your brand stand for? You want to be clear on this as well. You want to be clear on your brand message. Who are you trying to help? What's your purpose with the brand? Who, who, what is your message? Like to spread positivity and, and, and help people with acne, blah, 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 blah. Then that's your brand message. Work on that. And then finally, you want to figure out what your why is. Why are you doing this? And this is also something you want to tell people that about publicly displaying, for example, your highlights on your Instagram account, etc., etc. You want to share with people why you're doing this. For example, why am I helping people grow followers and build a brand on Instagram? Why? What is, what is my why? Well, my why is that I'm doing this so that I can build a name for myself, so that I can build an influence around myself, so that I can build and get a lot of people following me because eventually what I want to use this following for is to revolutionize the world, specifically the education system and how things function. I want to raise consciousness in this, in this matrix that we live in. That is my why. And that's, that, that's got nothing to do with Instagram. But I gotta start somewhere, and Instagram is my starting platform. Eventually, I'm gonna leave Instagram, and I'm gonna start doing something else. But I wanna keep my influence, I wanna keep you guys who are following me, I wanna keep you and my brand, and I wanna start continuing continuing to teach you, th you things that you might even know that you should learn, but that I know you should learn, and that's kind of how I wanna use my brand. I wanna use my brand in a positive way to influence people um, to improve their lives, and raise consciousness, and change the school system, and all that stuff. That's, that's my brand brand purpose and why that's why I'm making this video at the end of the day that's why I'm making this video yes I'm making this video to help you guys improve your branding that's the, the surface level reason but beneath all of that the real reason why I'm making this video is to grow my own brand so that I at one point can start talking about and and uh, talking about like these these other things that I'm very truly passionate about because Instagram is not what I fucking die for like I don't I don't masturbate and think about Instagram if that makes sense I, if I could talk about whatever I wanted to talk about and you guys would fucking love me no matter what I talked about I would talk about spirituality and meditation and, and improving yourself and cold showers and all that stuff which I have been kind of talking about and the school system and why it's corrupt and all that stuff that's what I would talk about but again 
that's uh, there's a time and place for everything and right now I've got to do what I've got to do um so there you go there's some more insight into myself and why I'm doing what I'm doing now we're gonna move on to step number four and what is step number four step number four is to be worth following now this is the biggest mistake I see brands make on Instagram they're not worth following they're just like every other guy out there they're just like every other page they're not opinionated they don't have any real value that comes from themselves to provide so let me give you an example of this I'm gonna show you guys my Instagram account and show you how I am providing real value and how people actually want to be following my Instagram account so if you take a look at the shared screen right here you can see first of all my profile picture you can see that my bio is better than most I make my living off of Instagram high school dropout 60 on YouTube to me I IG follow network that's a deep decent bio. I could go deeper into what people will learn from following me and I'm going to be changing up my branding strategy on this account so just prepare for that. If you guys want to follow me and see how I do this then make sure you do. I'm also going to be growing this account to 100,000 followers in about a week or so. That's when it's starting um, or two weeks. So if you're going to pay, want to pay attention to that as well make sure you follow me. Now in terms of branding. so. Testimonials. I'm actually showing people my students' results. Why people should, for example, trust me and invest into me if they want to improve their branding or growth on Instagram. I'm showing testimonials so that I'm proving that, yeah, I'm worth it. I know my shit. I provide results. And then you've got like these are these are kind of silly like traveling Ibiza and up. But this is Instagram just showing my own results. Um, gym USA, like personal, like some personal stuff. Now in terms of my content. Like, when I post pictures, I'm very opinionated. You can see how long I write my captions right here. I'm very opinionated. I'm very controversial a lot of the times, um, but like, what I'm writing, seriously though, mindless scrolling on these apps is one of the dumbest, most destructive thing you can do with your subconscious mind. You're fucking it up. I'm stating what I mean like I'm saying what I think about this straight up there's no fluff there's no bullshit I'm I'm being straight up and if you go to my other posts as well don't be the guy looking thinking or talking the same way for 10 years all greatness comes through you actively trying to better yourself I get a lot of comments like people really engage with my content people really really comment like 70 comments 150 comments 100 comments 34 comments 71 comments 37 comments like people actually engage with my content and that is because my bio or my captions are really really opinionated I'm actually providing a lot of value in my captions and you really want to be doing the same like there's real value to be found on my Instagram account I'm talking about shit that most people don't talk about I'm talking about shit that most people would be uncomfortable saying on social media I talk about that shit I'm true I say what I mean and that's why a lot of people actually enjoy following me specifically on Instagram is because I'm true I'm, 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 there's no bullshit. It's, it's only authentic. I speak what I, what I think. And uh, yeah, you want to be sort of like the same. Don't be like every other guy out there. Don't be like, yeah, your name in the captions and then leave it at that. So what I've decided to do is I've gone to my Facebook group. If you've not joined my Facebook group yet, make sure you do that. Click the link down below. There should be a link. But if, as you can see inside my Facebook group right here, um, we've, we've got like 6,000 members. But I made this post um, a couple of days ago um, and, uh, and talking about some stuff which I haven't talked about on YouTube. So I share more in deep and in-depth stuff my Facebook group but I asked people to drop your username if you want me to roast you so I'm gonna try to find a couple of accounts that are personal brand accounts and I'm gonna be roasting these accounts on the YouTube video so this is the first one no yum nappy um, so first of all profile picture really good um, and then we're gonna be breaking down the steps so figuring out if the brand message is clear, if the purpose is, is clear, if the value is clear, if I'm actually gaining value, or and in and if I feel like this page speaks to a specific type of person, so natural hair care tutorials. That's that's being specific. That's good. DIY. I I don't know what that herb recipe is. Product reviews. Hair consultants. Email to book. Okay, so this is really good. This is very specific. This is about like personal health herbs and hair. So it's very specific. It's it's for a specific type of person. Maybe it is black people, uh, black people with like curly hair like that, because obviously we blonde people don't have that type of hair. Um, so it's very niche. It's specific. It's to the point. Um, showing products, etc., um, etc. Et really, really good um, content. 
the only thing is that the content could be improved yes showing results and that's good for your brand but you also want to be showing value and let's see if we can find any value here um, looks like you're doing pretty good with the captions let's look at this video yes you're showing people how you do it that's really really good pretty all right now the only thing that i would improve which is not really so much about the personal brand it's more about the content is the content is just not that appealing um i would get a pattern going like this looks very ugly when you got the text cut off and stuff like that and they don't really know what's going on here so just improving the content is really the the the, the visual appeal of the content is really the key for this page but other than that it's doing pretty well next page is this one I am Vogue Schreiben. Um, I am a travel photographer from the Bahamas. I like this. Um, if you enjoy our content, follow us. Um, okay, this is kind of. I don't get this code. This is kind of a bit. Yeah, collabs, I guess. Profile pictures gotta change. Um, that's not like that doesn't resonate with the travel photography. So that's that. Highlights as well. Just don't don't just have highlights. Add some stuff in your highlights. Who like add your purpose. Add product reviews add um, all these different things um, value you want to add some value in there so so there's lots of work to do here in terms of value as well yes you're posting good pictures I appreciate that but who is this page for is it for people who want to learn to become a travel photographer or like that's the that's what most people struggle with most people are like this guy they just post content but they're not clear on why people should follow them yes they can see good content but there's got to be something more underneath it's the same with my account yes i post cool pictures about myself but i'm not posting those pictures to like show how cool i am oh look at me like i'm living this cool lifestyle you should be jealous of me like that's not why i post those pictures i post those pictures yes because they're cool and they've got a visual appeal but then that's basically the 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 the, the clickbait or the luring people in to read my captions where the real value is and so there's no other value than the pictures here and if your only value is the pictures then you're doing something wrong you got to improve you got to add some more to it and so that's yeah that's what this guy has to do third guy um, looks also like a hobby page travel social media I sometimes make parkour, parkour sometimes meme sometimes baby I don't really get that um, but if this guy really wants to monetize his page and build a personal ra a brand around something again this guy's got to be specific about why people should follow him what's the value people can gain from gain if Following his page yes maybe it could be parkour tutorials teaching people how to do parkour um, but again this goes back to the same thing they're posting cool content but what's the educational value behind this a personal brand is all about education teaching people something what's being taught here I don't know this guy's got to figure that out and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button um, if you're new to my channel Again, subscribe if you want to. Um, and I uh, got lots more value like this coming up. Join the Facebook group. Check out the free training down below. And uh, I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Peace.